Capricorn, welcome into my channel. I hope you guys have had a fabulous weekend. I'm going to be reading for you guys today a uh, basic love spread here. Um, seven cards uh, I have out for you guys, and I am going to be looking at the person on your mind, Capricorn, getting a general feel for their feelings, actions, and behaviors towards you guys, how they view you, how you guys feel about them, Capricorn, the mutual energy, the possible outcome between the two of you, and the advice. Okay, I'm going to be pulling some oracles as well, and let's get into it, Capricorn. Please don't forget to like my channel if this resonates for you guys and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And let's take a look. Okay, so first, um, the person on your mind, this person feelings, their feelings for you, Capricorn. We've got the Four of Swords here. Okay, air energy as well. Um, this person's feelings. Okay, this person needs to first off uh, take a rest. Okay, they're gathering. Um, they're thinking right now, they're contemplating things. Um, they could feel that the two of you guys need some space. This person could be very overwhelmed or feeling very overwhelmed in the um, in the connection right now, okay? This person's saying that they need to take a break. They need to um, not physically take a break from you maybe, but just mentally, they could be feeling a little bit burnt out um, and not really wanting to communicate right now. Um, they view you. Page of Swords, okay. They view you, or they are they are attracted to your wit. They're attracted to your intelligence. Um, they view you as a compatible partner, okay. Um, but this person could be feeling a little bit afraid of emotions, afraid to express their emotions, or afraid of uh, things getting messy emotionally, okay. Um, they could just want things to be. Uh, a little bit more calm but with the four of swords and the page of swords this person could be in this four of swords energy right now um, because they're mentally uh, going over things with this page of swords they're like feeling um, a little bit conflicted okay things could have been spoken between the two of you guys uh, that uh, this person needs to take a rest from okay they're a little bit overwhelmed this is a little bit of a restless energy okay and they could be feeling like they don't want to argue okay page of swords can be a little bit of could be a little bit of an argumentative energy um and they could be feeling like they need to take a step back to avoid a, a possible argument okay but they view you as a very agile okay they like that you're able to be um a quick thinker and very intelligent um they like that about you, okay? Um, their, uh, let me see. Their behavior towards you, yeah, I mean, right in line with that Four of Swords energy, temperance. They're trying to uh, be peaceful, okay? They want peace. Um, this person uh, is trying to take the middle path, okay? Not be too extreme in either thing that they do. They don't want to rock the boat okay they want to keep things uh nice and calm very calm energy is what uh so far this person is saying that they this is how they want to present themselves to you capricorn um your feelings toward them page of cups so it's almost like you are saying you want more emotions from this person or this person brings up emotions in you you would like a little bit more expression okay possibly in the connection um, it's interesting. They're viewing you as being very, uh, mental. Okay. Logical, uh, communicative, uh, with your words and you're viewing them as, um, yeah, you either want more emotions. Okay. Or, um, you know, you, you're showing me more of your feels here, more feelings. Um, yeah, you, you could be wanting more emotions from this person. You could just feel, a little bit more uh, emotions okay i won't say more you feel more emotions towards them i'm not saying that but um it's what the two of you guys uh, how you're viewing each other right now um you you guys could be uh, at a crossroads of what you you want from each other now with the temperance here okay in their behaviors towards you i mean that is emotional but it's um it's using your heart and your head okay so it's um 
it's balanced emotions. It's not being overly emotional and over or overly analytical. It's using those two things together. It's um it's alchemizing the energies. Okay. Uh, the mutual energy between the two of you guys is the six of swords. So that is, um, you know, understanding that you're in a, a state of transition. Um, things are changing. It, you're not quite exactly where you need to be Capricorn, um, but you're not where you were. You're, you're transitioning to a more peaceful, more positive place. And that, um, you know, the two of you guys are still on a journey of, of getting to a better place. Okay. Um, the advice is the 10 of cups. Okay. So yeah, coming together, um, coming together with this person, uh, being grateful for what you guys have together or what you guys want together in the future and not losing that vision. Okay. Not losing the vision of what it is that you truly hope for. Um, this is emotional balance. Again, balance is being highlighted in this reading. Um, you know, needing to find, uh, needing to uh, come together in a balanced way, understanding both per um, each other's uh, point of view um, with, with a sense of healing here, a sense of compromise. And, uh, okay, so... Um, <laughs> I want to clarify these energies, of course. Um, I want to know oh, strong air here. Okay, a lot of air. You guys could have air in your chart. This person could. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing strong air. Yeah, okay. Also Sagittarius here. Sagittarius with the Temperance card. Um, let's see why this person has the Four of Swords in the way that they feel towards you. So this is, like I said, needing a time out, needing to rest, reflect, and contemplate the next move. Contemplate your next action. Um, show me the Four of Swords for this person's feelings, please. Four of Swords. Why the Four of Swords for this person's feelings? Thank you. Okay, Page of Swords again. Yeah. This person's trying to think about, contemplate the way that they want to approach you exactly to the knight of wands yeah to the six of wands to the moon this person saying that they um they feel um like you inspire them okay you they feel like you, you inspire them um they love having you on their i don't want to say on their arm but yeah they love uh you do make them feel good okay you make them feel good and um they love having conversations with you. I mean, Page of Swords here twice. The two of you guys could just be able to really match each other on an intellectual level. Capricorn. Um, but there's there's a little bit of fear here, okay? Or something is unclear about whether this person... They may go back and forth between should I feel good about this? Should I move in a direction, the direction that I really want to go in, or should I pause? I don't think that this person's completely clear on how they should feel yet. There, there's like a need to, this person wants to take action, but they're, they're unclear, okay? They're not quite sure. They're, it's almost like they're not quite sure how they should feel. I feel like this person is like, like they're afraid of confrontation almost. All right. They want to move towards you um, uh, to overcome some type of conflict here. But but there's some um, some underlying emotions that come up for this person that they're 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 trying to work through. With the moon to the four of wands hmm. they're hoping that things change here for the better okay they're, this person saying that um, they want things to change for the better they want you to feel good they, I think this person wants reassurance this person wants reassurance that you uh, still want this okay that you, how they, this person wants to know how you feel about them is what I think Okay, I think that this person's looking for some reassurance as to what it is that you want, Capricorn. 
and how you feel about them. Uh, with the moon here, um, they could be a little bit afraid, okay? Afraid of what they don't know. Afraid of what they'll find out. Okay. Uh, let's look at the, um, the Page of Swords. Why does this person view you as the Page of Swords? It could be, um, there's also like an underlying feeling of um, like a hot temper here, okay? A little bit of a hot temper is what I'm seeing. And yeah, needing to kind of avoid that. Uh, why the Page of Swords? Why the Page of Swords? Why does this person see Capricorn as the Page of Swords? Mm-hmm. Okay, Hierophant. Exactly. To the Five of Wands. To the Star. Yeah, this... There's been conflict here, okay? There's been conflict and there's a hope. This person's seeing that you are trying um, to heal and to be hopeful, to restore, okay? To uphold with the star and the hierophant. That's a beautiful energy, okay? That's, a, that's like restoring your hope and your faith, all right? That's like a, um, your hope, your faith, um, your commitment, restoring your commitment, having hope here having hope to bring in more stability, to do the right thing, okay? Um, and to overcome this, uh, sorry Capricorn, overcome this, um, these other, these arguments, to get to a lot better place. And they see you as trying to do that, as working through issues. Yeah, and being more emotionally expressive, wanting to talk about things and wanting to move toward them, um, with a, a big hard space okay yeah but you're also like you know they could view you um with the hair font and the uh the emperor here this is a very strong um well we've got the emperor here or, i'm sorry the hair font here um this is major arcana here um they view you as being a very strong okay decisive leader um, doing things like only doing things that um, align with your values, making decisions, possibly making decisions for the family that um, are, uh, are only correct. This could be even a little bit of like a, this could, this could go on the side of like a being slightly rigid, okay, not being able to compromise. But, um, and it could, like I said, it could have a, uh, cause some issues between you guys they might even feel a little bit competitive okay there could be a competitive energy here um but i see them wanting to move out of that energy with the star and the knight of cups coming from a good um beautiful heart space wanting to heal things and being very hopeful okay um being very hopeful that you guys can move into a a calmer um more hopeful uh, place here and um, you know the emperor to the hierophant um, this is you know maintaining doing what you said you were going to do okay uh, maintaining uh, your commitments and your traditions whatever it is that you guys have established this is um, seeing that through fall this is follow through to the things you said you were going to do yeah follow through being a strong decision maker and um, a very protective energy here. Very protective energy. I love that energy. I mean, that is a beautiful energy. And that's how they see you, how they perceive you. This is a very traditional, okay, energy. A very um, stable energy. And their actions and behaviors towards you. We've got the temperance card. Show me temperance. Show me temperance. Show me temperance for this person. Let me see temperance. Okay, so this person wants to take action. They might want to talk, okay? They might want to talk about um, changes, big changes, transformations. 
um, that they've been waiting for for a long time. Wow. All right. Well, hmm. Death and the devil. This is getting rid of toxic behaviors, patterns, uh, possibly that this person's been dealing with or that the two of you experience, okay? There's some type of patterns here that need to end. And this person saying that um, this this growth is, they're going through some type of growth and change um, very quickly, okay? They they are, um, they're trying to put an end to, um, it could be addictions, okay? It could just be um, patterns, behaviors. This person, um, this is, the, you know, the shadow side here, the devil, their shadow side, their darker sides, um, their tendencies, uh, whatever it is that this person does, it's it's the shadow side. It's the, um, it's something that they may not have looked at for a long time is now coming into focus here. And we've got temperance and death. So, this is trying to maintain control over big transformation, trying to remain calm and um, trying to be patient, okay? Trying to be very, very patient um, while things may seem a little bit chaotic here. Um, there's a chaotic energy with the Eight of Wands. This is fast growth. This is quick movement, quick change that has come in here and wanting to maintain control um, understanding of emotions, understanding of their emotions, they might be coming towards you and, um, you know, it's like something's got to change here. Something must be released. And it could have been like this for a long time here with the seven of pentacles. Um, this person could have had these issues for a long time, but with the king of cups, you know, there's, there's a more mature understanding of this person's emotions. Um, they're wanting to, they're saying that they have the experience and the maturity to, um, to deal with whatever impulses they're trying to control and let go of. This person looks like they're going through a big, um, a big purge, a big learning lesson is coming in for this person. Yeah. And with the seven of pentacles, this just could have been, this person could have been feeling, um, stagnant or stuck okay for a long time but um there's love here i mean there's a big heart space there's compassion um i mean yeah again this person's hoping for change they're hoping for a stroke of good luck here wheel of fortune um they're hoping that things will change for the better okay and that some toxic toxic patterns behaviors um you know uh, addictions can be released here yeah hmm the king of cups to the devil interesting yeah that's like i said that's that's having the emotional maturity to to look at themselves and understand what it is that's held them back okay this person's trying to get to a place where they understand what it is that's held them back and they're trying to release it, okay? It looks like there's some self, self-awareness on this person's part. They're trying to get to um, a place of patience. They're, they're having patience too. There is a healing energy here coming in. I wanna see why the Page of Cups here, you have the Page of Cups in your um, feelings towards this person, so. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is, this is sensitivity. Okay. It's a sensitive, uh, the page of cups wears their emotions, you know, openly on their sleeve, kind of, um, this person's also, uh, you may feel that this person is possibly overly sensitive. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, it is immature, okay, water energy. Now, they're saying that they're trying to get, they're trying to release a lot of things, all right, change a lot of things about themselves and get to this King of Cups energy. Now, you're saying Page of Cups. Now, this is much removed from the King of Cups. This is immature water energy. So, this is, like I said, Page of Cups can be overly sensitive. Um, why the Page of Cups for... Capricorn, the world, okay. To the Page of Cups, 
again. Yeah, so you're saying that you want to close out some type of cycle. You want to have success here. Um, you want to feel fulfilled, okay? And you do see this person as um, an important part of your success, okay? Um, in the 3D, you guys might have built a lot together. Um, they're definitely a big, big part of your learning and your growth, okay, Capricorn? Um, and there is a sensitive, tender feeling here. I mean, you do hold emotions for this person, um, but there's some type of decision here, King of Swords, that needs to be made. Um, and you are trying or you might need to have an important conversation with this person, uh, make an important decision here. Yeah, to drop some type of burdens. You might feel very responsible. Wow. You might feel very responsible here um, or just uh, feel a sense of responsibility uh, for the connection or towards each other. You may also feel, Capricorn, like you um, hold more of the weight in the connection, okay? Ten of Wands to the Two of Cups. Like all of the responsibility falls on you, okay? And um, for some reason, Page of Cups here twice, the world, the King of Swords, you're feeling like it reduces your feelings a little bit. Like you're weighed down by the connection, possibly, and that you you're you're a bit exhausted. Okay, there's a, there is some exhaustion showing up here. Ten of Wands. It's a lot of responsibility, um, exhaustion, emotional exhaustion. But with the Two of Cups here, you're recognizing the connection. I mean, definitely. Um, yeah, the Tower to the Six of Cups. A lot of big changes here. Something unexpected. Okay something unexpected or like the foundation has been shaken here um but that you guys have a history you guys have a history together and that you guys have had good memories together but that um something drastic needs to happen or has happened between the both of you guys hmm. please put in the comments how this resonates for you guys I'd love to hear your stories. Um, show me the Six of Swords um, for the shared. Again, Six of Swords is going to be um, transitioning, okay? Transitioning through these changes and uh, needing to leave the past behind so that you guys can move to um, a better place. Again, you guys have got the Star, Temperance, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing in death here. So... Yeah, and the world, I mean, these are big energies, okay? Uh, it, it might feel very uncomfortable here. You might not feel like everything's completely known here, Capricorn. Like, you might say, well, what does the future, like, look like? I want to know, like, what, you know, are we going to end up together or are we not? And, and I mean, the advice here is the Ten of Cups. So that's about choosing to be happy, okay? Choosing to release the past. Show me the Six of Swords for Capricorn and this person. The Lovers, yeah. There's a decision, that's what I just said, okay? The Lovers is, at its core, it is a decision. It is a choice, okay? It's a choice between two people. Now, this is attraction also. This is a strong union. This is duality. This is two people here. Um, but at its worst, the Lovers can be um, feeling codependent, okay, we see that here in the devil, feeling codependent or just dependent on each other, um, and, and something needs to change here, something needs to be released so that, uh, you guys can move to a better place, yeah, and then moving into this, um, queen of pentacles, okay, this is financial, this is talking about more financial stability, but just stability in general here, feeling protected, feeling safe, okay, feeling safe together, um, wow, okay, so that's beautiful, you know, this is, um, it looks like the two of you guys are really going to get to a much more stable place here, ten of pentacles, the lovers and the king of pentacles, yeah, it, but with the Six of Swords, you guys are still 
getting there. Okay. You're on a journey. Okay. You're, 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 you're transitioning to this, this place. And you guys have got the 10 of cups here. Okay. So this is beautiful. I think I had a reading like this, very similar, um, in your last, in the last Capricorn reading or a couple back. Um, so yeah, I think I'm looking at an established couple here. Um, or at least a couple who's moving towards, you know, that family and that um, financial success. And um, uh, again, my advice here would just be uh, the Ten of Cups. This is this came out as your advice. So this is deciding to be happy, deciding to, um, you know, love the people around you and have that open heart towards those people around you, and um, moving toward your uh, financial success and understanding that there's patience here. There's a need to be patient, and um, you know, it does look like your energy here, Capricorn, is um, you know, you have a lot of responsibility here, or you may take on more of the financial responsibility. Um, than this person and um there may be a need here to either be more emotionally expressive or have a conversation here in a in an open emotionally uh, emotionally open and safe environment um but somebody here could be um a little sensitive emotionally or be um a little emotionally reactive Okay, and with the King of Swords, um, this is about, yeah, having authority over emotions, having a clear mind, having a clear mind over your emotions, okay, and needing to come from that place of, um, you know, temperance here, because temperance is the, um, basically the angel of, um, she comes in after the devil, you know, and we see that here is, um, she comes in and, um, alchemizes the energy. She's the middle path. She does not go to excess. She, you know, she, she's the calm after the storm. And, um, that's being highlighted here. Okay. That's really being highlighted as, as what needs to happen here. And like I said, Capricorn, this person does view you as um, highly intelligent, but also you seem to be the leader, okay? You seem to be the one, um, I could be looking at a masculine Capricorn or just a Capricorn that is um, uh, the one that needs to make the decisions, okay? This person looks to you, it seems, to make the decisions, um, financially possibly or within the household um, or um, yeah to uphold you know the commitment or the the traditions whatever you guys have um, uh, established um, as a very strong um, decisive leader and there's also a very protective energy here needing to protect those um, you know, within the house, within the home, if there's children here, being a good provider, you know, a good mom or a good dad, um, and taking care of those around you, wanting everyone to be a very taken care of around you. Um, in the, um, the possible outcome, okay, you guys can always change that. You have free will. Uh, we've got justice. Okay. So this is atonement. This is, um, taking accountability for our actions and um, honesty. This is truth, honesty, and fairness, and also balance, Libra energy. This is needing to maintain balance, okay, um, over ourselves, over our surroundings, this connection. There's a lot of balance here. Things need to be equal. This is, this is karmic justice. What has been um, done in the past, you know, whether it's been good or bad, will be um, given back to us. And um, with the moon here and this person's feelings, yeah, they could be a little bit, a little, maybe not wanting to look at their actions, okay? Maybe this person is, um, hmm, 
not wanting to look at the way that they've acted or take a responsibility. Okay, that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say. Um, for the actions that they've taken or for the things that they've withheld or not told you. Um, and I'm not trying to say anything deceptive here. I'm not seeing that in the cards, but they may just not express everything that's on their mind to you. Reverse energies, guys, as it applies. But um, there is a person here who I think doesn't express everything that they want to say, okay? Um, and but the possible outcome here being justice, things will be fair and balanced, okay? It's the, the laws of the universe um, within this connection, or you will find a new connection because that's what you ultimately want, Capricorn. Uh, show me justice. Show me justice. Possible outcome, please. Possible outcome for Capricorn. Justice, please. Show me justice. Three of Wands. Yeah, I think you're waiting for your opportunity. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're waiting for your opportunity here. I'll go over that in a second, Capricorn. But you... Um, you're looking out at the future, okay? You're looking out at the future of what you want. And you're feeling um, passionate, like inspired again. You're almost like, what can I create? What is it that I really want? What is it that I really want? But again, you're showing, there's another um, queen of pentacles now. So this is caring for yourself, okay? Caring for those around you. And also feeling um, inspired again, uh, feeling actually really, really good about your future, all right? Feeling really good about your future and knowing that um, what, what comes in for you, whatever happens for you is the correct choice. You're going to be making choices that are correct for you. And um, yeah, with the three of wands, this is... Um, I mean, in some some cases, I might say um, this is this can indicate waiting, but this is opportunities. Okay, I think that you're going to be looking at opportunities financially, and um, going after what it is that you that makes you feel inspired, um, what it is that uh, is feels correct for you, Capricorn. Um, yeah, looking toward the future. All right, being optimistic. This is about feeling more optimistic and feeling like you know your worth. This is stepping into knowing your worth, okay? And it looks like, um, I mean, there could be an ending here, okay? You could decide to end this. This person could decide to end this, Ten of Swords, and um, uh, look for new love, Ace of Cups, okay? look for new love after a painful ending after a painful ending there's going to be new love or for those of you saying no i'm not leaving this connection then the, the, whatever's happened here uh, has, has reached its climax there's been there's going to be because we've got now three tens so this situation is reaching its climax and we've got i believe i saw the world i did something here is going to reach its climax it's going to um it can't get any worse than it is okay it's something here after some type of painful ending there's going to be a beautiful opportunity for a new beginning okay now it could be with this person um a chance to start anew a chance to bring in a new new beautiful um sense of healing uh here with this i mean they are coming at you with temperance the king of cups there's still emotions on this person's um on this person's side for you if there's just been too much i mean i do see that there's a lot going on here this person has the devil um you know this person could have had a bad pattern or just some toxic uh, unhealthy habits okay if you decide that you're just you're done with that and it's no longer healthy for you to engage in that there is um a beautiful new beginning coming in for you capricorn okay the ace of cups in your future okay and, and it's coming from um some of you guys could be um 
like I said, you, I, I'm feeling like some of you guys could have children, okay? Because I am seeing a family here. I am seeing a family. But I feel like you're wanting to um, look at your options here because you have options. I feel like you know you have options. And you want what's right for you. You want what's fair and balanced for you. Um, you want what's owed to you, you know, and um, you're mature. This is mature fire energy, mature uh, earth energy. You're saying that you are, um, you have matured and you've learned a lot here. You've learned a lot here and you feel successful. You're going to get to a place of feeling whole again and we're always whole all of us are born whole into this world but sometimes we feel um, chipped away at we feel less than whole when we go through things but you're gonna get to a place of feeling um, successful with the world here this is a an achievement okay an achievement and um, recognition for all it is that you have achieved and um, it's like but wondering what it is that you want next like what's next and um yeah you guys have got a lot of new beginnings coming in for you guys um i actually love this reading but i can't i can't I, i've got to say here the advice is the ten of cups now you guys always have free will okay you can always choose um but with the advice being the ten of cups this is coming together this is um being happy um with the family okay this is um emotional uh, balance. This is being balanced emotionally. And we saw that justice card, which is all about balance, temperance, balance. Um, so this is coming together, being grateful and feeling love, but also giving love, um, and being, um, yeah, just being joyful, choosing to be happy. I would love to know in the comments how this, um, how this story resonates for you guys. Cause I do see, uh, two different storylines here. Um, those of you guys who are going to go in a new direction, okay, and that there's going to be love and family for you guys going in a new direction. For those of you guys that are going to work on this, stay together because you have a family with this person. I do see things getting better. Absolutely. I do. Um, it's just going to take work on your part and this person's part, okay, to... Um, really move through some of these um, toxic behaviors, okay? Uh, and whether or not this person can do that, I think is probably going to be your deciding factor, Capricorn. Um, whether or not these beha this behavior pattern, this um, unhealthy behavior pattern that this person seems to be in a loop of, whether or not they can really let that go, death card, and transform themselves, Okay, interesting. I want to pull um, a couple hidden messages from this person to you, Capricorn. Hidden messages for Capricorn. Thank you. Show me hidden messages for Cappy. Thank you. Show me the hidden messages for Capricorn. I still feel the pain. Okay, yeah, I picked that up. Um, I wonder how you feel. Yeah, there is a need to be, um, more emotionally expressive here. Then I think just communication. Okay. More communication between the two of you. Um, I wish we could go back. Okay. I wish we could go back and one more. I daydream about a life with you. Hmm. Okay, so for those of you guys that um, have a family with this person and have been going through a difficult time, um, someone here wants to, uh, yeah, and that's why we saw the Four of Swords there. I mean, somebody here wants things to be the way that they used to be, okay? Or they're really hoping that it can progress through this painful time and get to a place where it is that Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, you know, um, and uh, yeah, get to a get to a better feeling place. If you're done with this connection, Capricorn, I do see a beautiful um, new love coming in for you guys. Okay, 
but you have to be open to it. You've got to be open to the universe to give that to you. Um, and that's the most important thing. Okay. We've got to be open and release the past, know what is no longer serving us and release it. Um, and allow the universe to bring to us, um, you know, all that it is that we're manifesting, right? So I think this is beautiful. I love this energy for you guys. Um, if this resonates for you guys, please don't forget to give me a like and have a beautiful day. I hope that this message helped you guys and uh, many blessings. Thank you. Bye.